Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Ch -ch -ch Chia Chocolate Pudding. That's right. You thought chia seeds were just for making small vegetation-based pets, but it's not. A lot of people are using it to make a very, very healthy breakfast kind of porridge or pudding type mixture. And this stuff's just supposed to be packed with incredible nutritional benefits. But don't worry, I have a solution for that. We're going to make chocolate pudding out of it. So here we go. And the first question, what the heck are chia seeds? These are chia seeds. And if you live anywhere near civilization, I'm sure you can find these. Just ask one of your hippie friends, they'll know. Or order some on the internet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dump that in a mixing bowl. To that, I'm going to add some brown sugar and some white sugar, along with a very high quality cocoa. I'm going to give it a little pinch of instant coffee, a few drops of vanilla, and then just the tiniest, tiniest pinch of salt, like 12 grains of salt. Okay? And then for the chia seeds, the worked or magic, you have to have some kind of liquid. In this case, I'm using 2% milk. We're going to pour that milk in. And we're going to give it a stir. And cocoa hates, hates to be mixed into things when they're cold. But don't worry, just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. And eventually you'll have a nice smooth mixture. And then all we're going to do is let this sit for about five minutes. At which point we're going to come back and give it a stir. And just after five minutes, you're going to notice it's already starting to thicken up a little bit. So give it a good mixing. And once we've mixed that up, we're going to go ahead and let it sit for another five minutes. And we'll do that like two or three more times. And each time you should notice it's getting a little thicker. And at that point, we can give it the old tapa tapa for no reason other than I felt like saying it. And then we're going to wrap that up and put it in the fridge for what they say is a minimum of two hours. So I went ahead and threw mine in the fridge. And two hours later, I was looking at a pretty wild and crazy substance. Look at that. I don't know how they do it, but somehow all those little chia seeds thicken the mixture to the consistency of, well, chocolate pudding. And yes, it looks absolutely bizarre. So I took a little taste and it actually was not bad. Although after only two hours, the seeds still had a little bit of crunch to them. And since I'd never used these before, I wasn't sure if that's just how they are or if they were going to soften up a little more as it sat. So I decided to wrap it up and let it sit overnight. And the next day when we unwrapped it, it looked pretty much exactly the same. It didn't get any thicker. It didn't get any firmer. But that little bit of crunch inside the seed was still there, but it was not as pronounced. So at that point, I spooned mine into a pudding cup. I couldn't decide what to garnish it with. Whipped cream just seemed totally wrong. So I decided to go with chocolate-covered hemp seeds. That's right, hemp seeds, which I thought would mimic those little round chia globules. What are we supposed to call those things? So I sprinkled those over the top, and my ch -ch -ch chia chocolate pudding was done. And of course, if you've never heard the commercial, you have no idea why I keep saying ch -ch -ch chia. So you should probably check that out on YouTube. But anyway, that looks pretty good. Although I decided it didn't look as chocolatey against the wood as it did against the countertop, so I moved it back for the official taste test. And how was it? Well, it might be the hemp seeds talking, but it really was not bad at all. I mean, is it as rich and decadent as a real chocolate pudding? Of course not. We didn't use eggs and butter and cream and that kind of stuff. We basically used bird seeds. But considering we were able to make a fairly decent chocolatey dessert using such a nutritious superfood, I'd have to say this is a pretty interesting trick and definitely worth trying. And I'll talk about it on the blog post, but there's definitely things I would try in future attempts. Things like using coconut milk. I might do a little more sugar. I thought it could be a little sweeter. But anyway, all in all, I was pretty happy. So I do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.